For the past two decades, Elon Musk has been working on a mission to build a colony on Mars. On April 20th, the world held its breath as the largest rocket in human history prepared to take off to the sky. Elon Musk said, I'm not saying it will get to orbit, but I'm guaranteeing excitement. In this video, we'll explore exactly what happened on this history-defining day. But first, we need to talk about the challenge of getting to Mars. For hundreds of years, humans have spoken about traveling to Mars, but the idea used to be nothing more than science fiction. The first serious attempt to reach the planet was put together in 1962, almost 10 years before the first humans set foot on the moon. Mars 2MV was a Soviet spacecraft designed to fly to Mars. It wouldn't be bringing any humans with it, but it was still an incredibly ambitious project. It's easy to forget how far a spaceship needs to travel to reach the surface of Mars. Depending on current orbital positions, the planet can be anywhere from 50 million kilometers away to 400 million kilometers away. To put that into perspective, traveling 50 million kilometers is the equivalent of flying all the way around the Earth 1,200 times. Not to mention the fact that Mars and Earth are both spinning around the Sun at a speed of around 100,000 kilometers per hour. Sending a spaceship from one to the other is like standing on the deck of a moving speedboat, then trying to jump onto another speedboat. But that other boat is so far away that you can barely even see it. That's what the Soviets were trying to achieve in 1962, and that initial effort failed. It barely managed to leave the Earth's atmosphere before the engine exploded and the shattered spacecraft came tumbling back to Earth. Over the next few years, the Soviets managed a few more attempts, but those spacecraft failed too. The United States were also trying, but they didn't do much better. It took more than a decade for an unmanned spacecraft to finally land on Martian soil. That was the NASA-engineered Viking 1, which was launched from Florida in 1975, traveled through space for 11 months, and then touched down on Mars in July 1976. The trip to Mars is an incredibly complex operation, a long, looping journey of more than 500 million miles. A couple of decades later, the United States got the first rover to Mars. Sojourner was a small vehicle that could drive around and take photos and samples as it went. In 2004, NASA sent two more rovers, Spirit and Opportunity, then the Curiosity rover in 2012, and then the Perseverance rover in 2021. The Chinese National Space Administration also landed the Zhu Rong in 2021. All of these missions were impressive achievements, but an important detail was missing. None of them involved a real human astronaut. We've had robots on Mars for almost 50 years, but a real life person has never set foot on the planet. There's a good reason for this. Transporting humans is a lot harder to do. The ship would need to be significantly larger with space to hold all the life support systems and enough food to last the journey. Some experts think that the ship would need to be the size of a football pitch, more than 100 meters long, and double the length of the rocket that carried the Perseverance in the summer of 2021. There are also psychological elements to consider. We have no idea how a human would handle the mental pressures of traveling through space for months at a time, then arriving on a planet on the other side of the solar system. And what about getting back again? As things stand, the Mars rovers all made a one-way trip, it wouldn't be ethical to send a human to Mars if there's no way of bringing them home again. These are just a few of the reasons why a human mission is so difficult, but that doesn't mean it can't be done. For the last few years, some of the brightest minds in engineering have been trying to find a solution, and some of these efforts have billions of dollars of backing. This all brings us back to Elon Musk and the staggering SpaceX Starship. Over the past few decades, Elon Musk has invested in all kinds of high-tech projects, including electric cars, artificial intelligence, tunneling, solar power, and even Twitter. According to Forbes, he's currently the second richest person in the world, with a total of $180 billion of net worth. But his greatest passion is spaceflight. In 2002, he used a chunk of his wealth to establish SpaceX, a spaceflight company with the stated goal of getting human beings to Mars. Not just as visitors, but as permanent colonists, he dreams of establishing the first ever off-world city. Musk doesn't want to do this for financial reasons. He's driven by personal ambition. 
After founding SpaceX, he proudly declared, I can't think of anything more exciting than going out there and being among the stars. Since 2005, the company has been working on a groundbreaking rocket with enough size and power to carry humans to Mars, and most importantly, to bring them back again. In 2018, SpaceX announced their plans for Starship, the largest rocket in the world. This spacecraft would be 120 meters tall and capable of carrying 100 people and enough resources to support them at any given time. The rocket would also be fully reusable. It could travel to Mars, then back again, over and over and over. This was a massive change from the single-use rockets which dominated space travel for decades. Each starship would be more like a commercial airplane, making thousands of journeys in its life. A voyage to Mars inside a SpaceX Starship would probably look something like this. First, the rocket would leave our atmosphere and connect with fuel tanks floating in orbit. That would give it the chance to refuel instead of heading to Mars half empty. It would then take six months to reach the planet, powering through the vacuum of space. When the Starship reached Mars, it would be moving at a speed of 7.5 kilometers per second, which is five times faster than the quickest aircraft on Earth. To slow down, the rocket would turn its belly towards the Martian atmosphere and use air resistance to slow down. That air resistance would create a lot of heat, but the Starship would use an advanced heat shield to make sure the passengers weren't cooked. Once the Starship slowed down, it would safely land, support the crew for as long as they needed, then take them back to Earth. None of this would be easy, and SpaceX decided to take a patient, trial-and-error approach. They would launch as many prototype rockets as possible, repeating the tests again and again, until one of them finally worked. If an idea failed, it didn't matter. They could learn from it, improve on it, and never make that mistake again. In the first few years of Starship's development, some of these mistakes were spectacular. In 2020, a prototype ship burst apart during a simple pressurization test. The sides buckled, the rocket leaped from the ground, and then crashed back down in a cloud of smoke and steam. Just a month later, the same thing happened to another prototype, probably because of a leaky valve. Elon Musk remained positive. He tweeted, where's flex tape when you need it? In June 2020, their next prototype exploded too in spectacular flames. But finally, six months after that, SpaceX hit a massive milestone and managed to get the first test rocket to fly for several minutes and even perform some elaborate maneuvers. But on the way back down, the rocket lost control and burst into flames. At the start of 2021, their next prototype lost control and exploded when it hit the ground. The next prototype got a bit closer and landed safely, which was a massive success for the team. But then, some flames appeared at the bottom of the rocket, and shortly after this, the rocket exploded as well. But again, this was all just a part of the company's trial and error approach. Even when the test launch burst into flames, they made sure to focus on the positives. Yes, many of the rockets exploded, but some of them also managed to fly, and that was a major achievement. Finally, in May of 2021, the company pulled off their most successful test to date. The 15th iteration of the Starship rocket successfully launched, successfully landed, and most importantly, didn't explode. It was still only a tiny test flight, and nothing compared to a voyage to Mars, but it still represented a big step forward. Their work was paying off. That was two years ago, and SpaceX has made a lot of progress since. SpaceX is now making plans to use Starship rockets to run a few missions to the moon. These missions will act like small-scale tests for the future Mars mission, and they'll be fascinating to watch. In the next year or so, they're planning to launch the Dear Moon project, a starship full of passengers that orbits around the moon, then flies back home to Earth. The starship won't actually land on the moon, but it will get close enough for people to look at the surface through the windows. After that, there are plans to land a starship on the moon and eventually to build a moon base, like a mini version of the city planned for Mars. Elon Musk is hoping to get that done in 2024, and another year later to have starships regularly ferrying people back and forth. From scientists to tourists, thousands of people could visit the moon each year. But before any of that could happen, SpaceX still had work to do. 
At the start of 2023, they announced their plans for the most significant test to date, sending a starship up into space. After leaving the atmosphere, the rocket would fly all the way around the Earth before landing off the coast of Hawaii. If they pulled it off, they would be one step closer to their ultimate goal of building a city on Mars. A date was set for April 17th. On the morning of the launch, the world was waiting with bated breath, with more than a million people tuned in for the SpaceX livestream. Then suddenly, the launch was canceled, a pressure valve had frozen, and SpaceX decided it was too dangerous to take off. The launch was rescheduled to April 20th, the favorite date of Elon Musk. Again, the world was waiting. After a false start three days earlier, tensions were even higher. Would this day be remembered as a historic achievement, or would the rocket explode, just like so many others, and never even leave the ground? Elon Musk said there was only a 50% chance the launch would work. local time, beneath the sparkling blue of the Texan sky, the starship powered up. Amazingly, it started to leave the ground, driven by an enormous super-heavy booster. For the first few seconds, everything was running smoothly. Then people noticed that six of the booster's 33 engines hadn't properly ignited. The rocket began to wobble, and at a height of approximately 40 kilometers, less than half the way to the edge of the atmosphere, the starship exploded in a booming ball of flame. For those who watched it, this day will live long in the memory. On the surface, it may look like a setback on the road to colonizing Mars, but SpaceX sees it differently. Their employees cheered when the starship exploded. Getting any kind of liftoff was a victory, and they gathered a huge amount of data that will help them improve in the future. It leaves us asking an important question. What will happen next? SpaceX will need to go back to the drawing board and work out exactly what went wrong. According to Elon Musk, they'll try this launch again in a couple of months. They have plenty more rockets ready to launch, and they'll keep trying until one of them works. After that, they'll need to work on another challenge, adding humans to the mix. There's also the Martian colony to consider, which is another problem entirely. But who knows, five years from now, any of us might be able to take a vacation to the moon. Ten years from now, we might even be able to do the same on Mars. Would you want to pay a visit to either of these places? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.